A long-time marijuana activist is teaming up with a Kiwi cookie baron to open a new cannabis museum in Christchurch. As Dave Gooseling reports, the pair believe the tide is changing for the controversial plant. Dunedin's Whakamana Cannabis Museum offers visitors an education with a difference. And staff insist there's more to the plant than just smoking it to get high. But what we're here to educate people is that cannabis is a plant with a variety of different uses. Since November, it's been legal to sell hemp seeds for human consumption. Museum cafe manager Laura Archer uses the seeds in baked goods and turns them into butter as a dairy substitute. But these products won't get you stoned. People do think that quite a lot. At this stage, all of the food is THC free. It has nutritional cannabis, which has no THC, which is the psychoactive compound. These powerful little seeds and the wider potential of the hemp economy caught the eye of entrepreneur and Cookie Time co-founder Michael Mayle. This is a superfood for the human body and it is a, the most regenerative plant that we can be growing. He met activist Abe Gray at a hemp conference last year. The pair got chatting about the mood for change and decided to partner up in the Garden City. I think Christchurch is the perfect place to put a cannabis museum. It'll be a similar model to Dunedin, combining a hemp food cafe and retail outlet with a museum for education. You're going to be able to see and touch and feel in this new museum and, and learn all of those nuances. They're now looking for an open-minded landlord in central Christchurch with the aim of opening for business in the next few months. Dave Gooselink, News Hub.